Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. So in this live video, we're going to take a look at some cars that I showed yesterday in the chase report. So kind of a follow-up video. And I'm going to do some uh, comparisons, mostly Matchbox, but some other Diecast brands too. Um, kind of want to start with uh, Hot Wheels. So I showed this Muscle Speeder. Um, and I uh, said this is a casting I like. Rudy Moon Eyes, Huynavond. So uh, this is one of the other versions I have. There's not been a lot of re releases of this one. So here we got a green version. And uh, here's a multi-pack exclusive. And this kind of purplish color. It was a mystery model 2 uh, I don't have that and uh, an orange one this was a, a first year of release this was a recolor the first color was orange and then this green and then and then and now in red I have that but it's kind of buried deep down in the collection so um, yeah didn't have time to get that one out and uh, yeah that's about the ones I got freedom hello Welcome. So the Nissan GTR, the 2017 R35. So I mentioned there was a similar one before, and that's this one, but didn't have the black stripe on top and did have different wheels, gray wheels, instead of the black one on the new version. But the, the rest of it is pretty similar. Seems to get a little bit more detail here in the, on the bumper. And in the back, it's uh, pretty similar too. Yeah. This is a K28, so that's 2017 mainline release. Good workers, hello. Good avond. And then we get to Matchbox. So here we got the new Toyota MR2 1984, but uh, as uh, many Matchbox, so this is the previous MR2 casting by Matchbox, Toyota MR2 156 scale 1986, copyright Matchbox International Limited made in Macau. So centerpiece here is plastic and then the rest of it is metal. Got suspension. So let's uh, compare these two. It's a little bit more plastic on the new one. It's also much more narrow. New one, and it's a little bit shorter. So maybe it's closer to 164 scale than the original one. Uh, it's not that much shorter, but a little bit. Of course, the Toyota name on the front is much smaller on the newer one, and it's got the the badge and the. Uh, pop-up headlights that are part of the window piece so these are the ones with the headlights down and this is the one I mean of course newer rims this was kind of a, a two-piece casting so there's a top piece you can see the line here and then a bottom piece it was also mostly metal they both have the side mirrors they both have the sunroof the old one has a little extra kind of wind deflector here that says Toyota on it. In the back, of course, the new one is much more detailed. Um, Casting-wise, the old one is not bad. You can see there MR2 molded into the casting. And the taillights are nicely done. But of course, the new one is a bit nicer tempoed up like that. But again, much more plastic on it. The spoiler is also a little bit different that there's a kind of an opening here in the newer one that the old one does not really have. It's got the same vents on the on the back there for the engine. There's a lot of paint on the new one so it's a little bit less visible. And there's some vents on the side here too by the way. Uh, you can see here just behind the door. 
as a vent and then it's better visible on the older so this new casting does not have these lines here on the b-pillar that the old one has you do get the indicator repeater on the new one that the old one does not have El score bunny loquendero 2000 welcome from mexico so yeah and this was the old one was right hand drive too so cool it's nice to have a, a new version of it then also wanted to take a look at the a new fiat 500 and compared with some other brands so here is majorette this is uh, the oldest one I have from July 2012. This is Fiat 500, 155 scale. No suspension on these. So they got uh, basically full deco because you got the uh, light on the side here and the door handle painted in the back. The base clips into the body. It says 500 on the license plate spot. Um, lengthwise, the majorette is a little bit longer, it seems. Not uh, not that much. Both have side mirrors. The um, Matchbox version seems to be a, a newer model, kind of a facelifted one. But of course, it doesn't change very much, and it's got some uh, um, some more beefy bumpers, it seems. A little bit of a spoiler on top there. And a little bit of the diffuser too in the back. Yeah. Looks a little bit more sporty. Okay, so apparently, according to uh, Elvis Corbandy, uh, this is the European version and this would be the American version. I don't know if there's a much difference between uh, these but well between the wheel cars i mean but there must be apparently so maybe in the united states they don't get the above versions that we get from the fiat 500 and they just call it the turbo i'm not sure there's uh, some other versions of that majorette one so 2015 but not the street cars mainline but the special set release and then we get pretty much the same one as the white one, but with the... So here we got that Hot Wheels version. So, looks very similar. Size-wise, the Hot Wheels is shorter, smaller, so probably more accurate, 164, or closer to 164, I should say. Frank Magnaghi, hello. It's, uh, yeah, it seems a little bit taller than Matchbox. Both have the side mirrors. The windows on the Hot Wheels are open and on the Matchbox they are closed. Kirk Garage, 1999, bonsoir. In the back they look very similar but the uh, hot wheels one doesn't have the diffuser it does have some uh, it does have a different bumper clearly so possibly different model year and the bumper in the front is different too so yeah definitely must be a different model year some variations on the or different releases on the hot wheels this was a super treasure hunt version also of this one black and this teal one and then this silver one and then i got this true 164 norif version from the city line So very basic Norif, but true 164. 
So again, we get the base that clips into the body. Take off front and back. So as you can see, the matchbox is much bigger than the uh, M164, much wider and much longer also. Also has the side mirrors. Yeah, quirky. I agree. Uh, I agree. Quirky. How it was doing the 500 is a bit weird. While uh, it does make much make much much more sense for Matchbox to do it. So, yeah, bumpers are pretty much uh, the same on these. So these could be same model years. But no diffuser on the, the Norev. And it's got that chrome strip there on the bumper. And it seems to have a bigger rear window too, or maybe that's just my idea. Window on the back seems a bit small on the on the matchbox. Look at the other versions. They all seem to have a bigger rear window. Although the Hot Wheels one is not that much bigger. But the uh, major at one seems to be, and also have a Mini Champ 64 version, but I forgot to take that one out of the display cabinet. So then I noticed that the uh, VW Golf was uh, retooled. It says uh, 2020 copyright on the base here, and uh, I'll show you what changed. Uh, where is it? Here it is. This is a previous release. So, what I noticed here in the back on the original one, the, um, the rivet is a plastic one. Um, so you can see the um, the window piece has uh, the post in it, so there's actually a plastic post here that's riveted. So the, you can see a post, but it's not that present. It's, it's kind of well, see-through or translucent because it's plastic. It's part of the window piece. And on this one, the post is a metal post. So in the color of the vehicle in black, and it's also pretty wide, much wider than the, the it's much more present, this kind of post. And uh, of course, with this black one, it's not that hard to see, but that's uh, easy to see. It doesn't, uh, it's not such an eyesore as it is on the lighter color models, but that's kind of the, the difference I, I noticed between uh, these two. And of course, as uh, as often mentioned, uh, as mentioned in the, the live chat, what they often do is uh, get rid of the scale on the base. They, uh, they remove these usually, but other than that, uh, I don't see a lot of difference. A uh, little bit smaller steering wheel, so yeah, and uh, they seem to have cut out the floorboards uh, on the interior too, so a little less plastic in the interior like they do on a lot of vehicles too. So the interior has changed a bit too, but uh, not that much. Now the fact that they cut out the floorboards on the interior means it, it's kind of hard for them to to make a tombstone steering wheel so they're kind of obligated to use a disc steering wheel which looks better than a tombstone in my opinion um, to uh, combine it with uh, the cutout flo floorboards so that's kind of a plus side of the the hole in the floor so yeah that's, uh, these are the differences I see. They could have made uh, 
the sunroof uh, plastic part of the window piece to make it lighter and less metal. Uh, Ruud Beukers, I don't have the green one from the Best of France mix, so um, I can't tell you if that is uh, also the retooled one. I'm guessing it is, because this dates back to 2017, I guess. Let me see. Uh, yeah, 2017. So that's quite some years ago, and then uh, it just re-released, uh, well, started releasing it again um, in the Best of France set and uh, in the Mainline 2021. So I guess I uh, talked about the Renault Kango, and I thought the original release, this one, had an interior, but it didn't. So it was already blacked out plastic, no interior, so uh, I was wrong about that. Never had an interior. Still got a metal body, so... I'm fine with that, as long as they don't uh, turn it into a plastic one. Then we got the unmarked police car, the Ford Taurus, but called Ford Police Interceptor on this one. David Johns from Twice Diecast in Alabama. Uh, we are 17 minutes in, so yeah, you're a bit late. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's going to take a look at some previous releases. So this is the first unmarked one uh, that gets Deco's front and back. Um, this is the oldest one I have, I think it's 2015. So this has the separate light bar piece. And nowadays it's got the light bar part of the window piece. Don't have to apologize, David. Did get a little bit of a hint of a tail light here that is part of the side tempo. And same in the front here, the probably the indicator light. And I think this is 2016 Fire Chief livery. No light details on this one on the side. And we got the retooled version here. Then this was a five pack in 2017, five pack version with the wheel variation. So these often have wheel variations, the disc wheels or the dog dish wheels or whatever you want to call them. And then these six spokes, these are often the two types of wheels that you can find on uh, the same casting. So the same with this one, this also has these both variations, but I don't have the, the dog dish one. I do have it from this this version, silver. This is the only one I have that has the blue windows to have a blue light bar piece. So uh, you can see all this has the tail lights sideways, uh, but not in the front. And then the other ones they don't have the. In 2021, there was a version that is very similar to this. I don't have it. I didn't buy it because I uh, I thought I would end up with it in a multi-pack but I haven't so far uh, so the 2021 also has a fire chief version got a different line on it and some different text but it's uh, yeah. very similar with different wheels also but the same color and it's also a fire chief one so kind of uh, were, were without inspiration I guess but this one is a is indeed a very cool version and uh, it seems like a lot of people like it. I uh, don't know why they often make the windows so dark. If they would make the window pieces clear, it would kind of look like the this one. If you have an LED light bar, it can be just clear like that, I guess. So that would at least make it a little bit more realistic, but this is very dark tint. It's not very realistic for a light bar, but anyways. And this one, the 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility, I was kind of in doubt if this was a new livery or not, but uh, I could not remember seeing this. So I checked and indeed it's a new livery. This is the first release, also in Fire Chief, actually has the tan um, push bar that the 2021 version of this one also has, by the way. And that's also a difference bit with uh, this one first release this is uh, I think generic fire chief version then highway patrol 
this is a licensed, I think. I don't know, California or Texas. I'm not sure. And you can see the side tempo for the lights here too. And then El Segundo Police, also licensed. El Segundo is where Mattel is located, also with the lights, side tempo. And then this one is also licensed. Turns out this is a livery from San Luis Obispo, also in California. It's uh, very accurate. I uh, looked up some pictures online. Uh, so on the real ones, there's a number here, down here on the bumper in the corner. But it seems uh, there's not, not enough real estate on the, the Matchbox version to do that. So yeah, cool that this is also a licensed version. San Luis Obispo. Then we get to the new Bronco. I just wanted to put these next to one another. I showed them both in the chase report yesterday, but um, because there were so much, so many cars, I did not want to do this kind of stuff in that video. Wanted to, to keep it under one one hour, so that's why we kind of do this kind of video. So no headlights on the Hot Wheels. It's a little bit higher. It's got uh, the exaggerated big muddy tires on it. Well, they're not muddy, but you know, they're meant for uh, uh, off-roading while these are more street tires, I guess. So the Hot Wheels has the deck on the side, the Bronco, and then uh, some kind of animal here. I don't know what uh, kind of animal this rep represents. Probably my American friends will be able to tell me. The Matchbox has the B pillar in, the, in plastic and then the C and D pillar are metal again. Yeah, it's a Bronco logo, uh, quirky, I get that. But what the heck is a Bronco? Dollstar Diecast from Huntington Beach, California, welcome. Is that some kind of a horse or Bronco? I don't know. You have to tell me. Different uh, spare wheel on the back. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so it is a horse. David Jones, thank you for enlightening me. Uh, by the way, the side mirrors are uh, different, but they both look pretty chunky uh, on them. I don't know what the real ones look like, so I can't tell you which ones are more accurate. kind of like the, the Matchbox ones. They're very... Uh, look very sturdy. They're more streamlined. Seems like the Hot Wheels one has a cover of the spare wheel, well, while the Matchbox does not have the cover. So Matchbox got the details in the back, Hot Wheels doesn't. I guess, dude, welcome. Lengthwise, uh, they're not much different. Uh, of course, the, the one that's missing two doors is uh, shorter. You can, well, it's kind of hard to show you the length difference here. Let's just pick up my phone a little bit. Now you can see it a little bit. So yeah, and there's also an extra panel here in the middle. It's like they, like they cut this one up and then just added a panel in there. And that's kind of what the roof looks like. Yes, Dicas dude, uh, I decided I had uh, enough energy left, even though it's past nine in the evening to uh, to do a, a video. Uh, yeah, usually I don't have that energy anymore, but yeah. Okay, so David John says the logo for the Bronco is a wild horse kicking its feet up in the air. That's interesting. Cool. Okay, um, uh, I need to put this one in here. And then what I also talked about but was not able to show is that there's a 
top-up version of this Cadillac Series 62 from 1941 and it was in the Cadillac Series and that's this one. So it's basically a window piece with the kind of non-see-through top Very nicely done. So they can make two versions of this casting without having to change a lot. Just a different window piece in there. Uh, it seems like the interior that has the, the top down here is still in there. So it's actually got the top down in there still. Even though there's a top here. So they do, do not put a different piece of interior in there. So very nice models. Um, just wanted to show you the cars I did not feature in uh, yesterday's chase report uh, because they're going to be featured in different videos so we got the Unimog for the Unimog video that will be opened up then all of these um, then I've got two videos lined up for these so um, they will be opened up in one of those and then will be shown loose in the other um, this one will appear in one of those two videos that the Toyotas will also appear in this is for the wagons video and then these are all for the electric and hybrid video so those are the ones that uh, I did not show yesterday oh yeah and there was one more this one uh, because it's got red paint splatter all over it uh, so it's not, it's not a good version, but it's the only one I could found, find, so I'm going to try to find another one. Um, which will be hard to do, because, you know, this is very popular. Everyone wants this. Wherever you are in the world, um, most collectors will want this. But definitely in Europe, because, you know, that's what we have here. We have hatchbacks and wagons, mostly. Uh, sedans, well, that's just for old people. SUVs, well, I know a lot of people who had an SUV and uh, sold it and went back to a station wagon or to a hatchback because they are expensive to drive, they use more um, uh, gasoline or diesel and they uh, have uh, big expensive tires that uh, are expensive to um, when you have to exchange them. So yeah. Um, I think Mattel should do more European style of vehicles, I mean hatchbacks and wagons, like we have here, and not uh, not that many pickup trucks and SUVs that, you know, are maybe very popular in the United States, but uh, we don't have that many of those here. Sure, SUVs are on a rise, but as I said, many people are coming back from it because of uh hey fax good morning to you in australia we are just fin finishing up uh, i'm showing this car that i did not open up uh, yesterday in the chase report um but uh, yeah i'm going to uh, call it a day and uh, thank you all for watching for participating in the live chat and uh, i will see you again on the chase report next saturday that will be about what I found in France in that uh, week that I uh, talked about on the CDC 2.0 video. And um, yeah, hope to see you all then. Thanks for watching. Bye.